Hi folks, 21st Century Caveman here. Hope everybody's safe, hope everybody's well, and welcome to another video. So in today's video then, we're gonna be doing some repointing of some brickwork. Now, this is one of those jobs which a lot of people find, do need doing, but not really that sure what to do or how to go about it. Now, ironically, it's one of the few jobs around your house which requires absolutely no skill whatsoever but if you get somebody in to do it they're going to charge you a lot of money and the reason is quite simply because a lot of people find it a really laborious job to do and therefore if they don't want to do it they're going to charge you more okay so anyway like I say absolutely no skill whatsoever required in this so I'll reset the camera get back to you I'll show you some of the tools you need and we'll just go through the basics Right okay folks, let's just have a quick look at some of the tools and equipment you'll need to start a job like this. So we'll have a look at PPE first, PPE, personal protective equipment. So I'd recommend that you wear a pair of gloves just to protect your hands from damage and also from the cement. Pair of goggles, and these, this is particularly relevant when you're raking out the old plaster and also a mask just to stop all of the old uh, mortar being inhaled. Now, um, you'll also need a tool to rake out the mortar. Now you've got some different options here. You could use something like an angle grinder, which is absolutely perfect for large areas, but you will need an appropriate disc. And as you can see, look, this states that it is for mortar, a mortar raking disc or blade. The thing about these are the fact that they are very powerful and you've got to concentrate because you know they could rip the brickwork to pieces if you're not very careful and they do make a load of mess but obviously you know there's a bit of cleaning up to do the roises isn't there now what i'm going to do particularly for the um the perps as they're called the perpendicular joints i'm actually going to use one of these rotary tools and i've got a little um wood carving bit on there look now the thing is despite the fact that it is specifically for wood carving you can actually use it for raking out mortar as well and that's what I'll be doing today and this is a nice little handy tool it's um, small, it's compact, it's lightweight and it'll rip out the old mortar absolutely no problem at all so what I've done look I've actually set it 10-15 mil below this um, this plate here look so it will only go as far as I want it to so I'll be using that now you'll also need something to hold the mortar now the thing is I've got um because I've done loads of plastering in the past I do have a plasterer's hawk so you can use that or indeed you can use anything which is flat something which you can grip and something which you can put the mortar on and to prove the point I'll show you a couple of other you know sort of makeshift items um, a little bit later on in the video you'll also need something to apply the mortar to the brickwork once you've raked the old stuff out now um, you can use the traditional pointing trowels I always used to use those until I became familiar with these so this is called a tuck pointing trowel and this will always be my go-to now unless I can't find it or I've lost it in which case I might revert to one of these trowels here this is absolutely perfect because it enables you to get right between the brickwork and also it's got a nice strong carbon steel blade and you can put a bit of pressure on there to really push the mortar in between the brickwork now um, you can buy sets of blades you could also use something like this if you wanted to look this is a little bit wider it's a little bit more unwieldy but at a push you could use that as well um, to do the the perps in other words the perpendicular joints the upright ones you could use something like this look you know they're roughly the same width as the the width or the height of a brick and that will enable you just to push the mortar between them and hopefully you know not make too much mess while you're doing it and this here look is just um, a finishing tool for the mortar just enables you to get a nice finish once the mortar starts to go off and you want to start tooling it up and also as usual you need a brush you know just to clear up your mess have a pan as well and also just to brush off any bits of mortar after it's dried
so this is why you need to wear a decent mask when you're doing a job like this protect your lungs protect your life right so this is an ffp3 mask i've been wearing one of the cheaper ones the reason i'm doing this is just to show you that even that might be a cheaper one it's still better than wearing nothing at all so that's what you can see on the outside what's on the inside it looks pretty clean doesn't it there is some evidence there look of some water on the um, on the bridge of the nose but um, it doesn't appear to have extended beyond that but anyway look this mask has now been used fully and I'm gonna bin it okay